Hi there. We are out here with the P1B0 um, Skywalker. This is a smaller version of the Sky Shuttle. And there's a, a trimming and build video up for this that we've had up for a while. This is a reverse Montreal stop propeller. All the all the nice fixings. Um, this is a smaller, a little more economical version of the Sky Voyager. Uh, and it's a little less prone to flying away in thermals, which means it doesn't fly quite as uh, as well in terms of performance, uh, but it stays on small fields better, so if you don't want to finagle with a dethermalizer or whatever, it might be a little better of an option. I'll go ahead and show you a test glide here. Right into my car. How graceful. So... Other than my bad flying technique, uh, the cool thing is this entire time the airplane has already been wound up. Now I am flying on four strands of one eighth, which is a lot of power to cram in there. Um, I like a fast climb. I've gotten where I like them even faster because I do. But anyway, let's see what we can do. Hopefully a glide circle will continue. There we go. Don't get stuck in the tree. There we go. Let's again. Now, I decided to show you something else you can do with these. So this is the power system out of one of our little electric biplanes that we sell. And you, all you have to do is peel the side of the airplane back, the, the biplane, to get at this and cut the tape that holds the motor on. So not even an involved process and you could actually put the power system back on the biplane. Now, the catch is this is a tractor propeller, so I have a reverse of the other propeller. And that's very important because this is wired up as a pusher. Now, the other thing, the way you could do it is take the other, the existing propeller off, turn it around, and then flip the, uh, desolder the wires and resolder them, um, the opposite direction. So, let's see. What I'm going to do is, I have not flown this, uh, this particular one on, on this setup. So trim may be interesting, so I'm going to let it go down a little a bit before I launch it. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Right on trim the first try. Again. We will go again here. I want to mention this is not even chart this is on storage charge so we're not even getting full climb performance 
I stuck some clay on the nose. Hopefully we can get rid of that glide stall. <laughs> we have a kamikaze. Yeah. That way. Yeah, still stalling a little in the glide. I need to charge that poor thing up though. Alright. Alright. Nice fl fun flying airplane. P1B0 Skywalker here in electric form. Check it out on our website. Uh, the power systems are available in the biplane. Um, and we'll be making some motors and props available so you can do some of these custom setups like this. And a nice small field airplane, very easy to fly, uh, particularly in electric mode. You just kind of toss it out there and it goes. So we'll see you later. All right, we have a little different setup. This is a Strix timer. As of this recording, these are out of production. I've got a bunch of them on order, so hopefully we'll have a few at least for you guys to try out. 8.5 by 20 motor on here and a 200 milliamp battery. So hopefully this will work. Um, well, I know it'll work, but it's a question of how well. Hi. Um, but anyway, this gives us a very substantial power to weight ratio. So we'll try it. Right, so here goes. Hauls its way up there pretty good. Need to work on the glide a little bit though. Let's see what a little bit of right thrust gives us. Good so far. Oh yeah. Typical. So typical. At least it's it's not that high. And got it back. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J and H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching. <laughs>